My name is Mary, and today we are going to cover how to correct or adjust an accounts payable invoice that has previously been posted. In order to do this, we're going to head over to the accounts payable module in our Sage 100 software. We're going to go into the main folder, and we're going to select Invoice Data Entry. At this point, I need to enter in the vendor for whom I'm going to correct the invoice, and I can either type it in or select it as I'm doing here. And I also want to enter in the exact invoice number that I want to adjust. You'll notice that a screen pops up and it indicates that this invoice is already on file. We have options here where we can hold payment for this invoice, we can produce a separate check for this invoice, or what we're going to do today is we're going to adjust the invoice. When I click on Adjust, you'll see that the original invoice date and its original due date will appear, and we'll also see the balance on that invoice. In order to make an adjustment, I want to put in a dollar value here in the adjustment amount, and if I put a positive dollar amount in, it will increase the invoice balance. If I put a negative amount in here, I'm going to decrease the amount due to that vendor. So the vendor has issued us a $5,000 credit, and you'll note the negative sign at the end of the number here. I'll go to the lines page then, and I want to make sure that this invoice gets distributed. By default, it happens to pick this particular 555-0003 account, but I can change this account or I can distribute this to a number of GL accounts according to what's appropriate. Once I have all this information in and I have a distribution balance of zero, I may go ahead and accept this invoice and continue to post it just like I post every other invoice. These are the steps that you can take in order to process a correcting entry to adjust an accounts payable invoice. Thank you very much.